Hey everyone, it's Pam. Uh, today I will be doing a makeup look uh, with a pop of color. I'm going to be using a blue as eyeliner and also a pink lip. And I decided to do it because I recently purchased these uh, colored pattern bands and it has blue and some hints of gold and some pink and I kind of want to try to base it off of that pattern selection and I've already prepped my skin I put my essence and my moisturizer so yeah let's get started so I'm starting off by taking a MAC pink pod in the shade let me pop I'm using my fingers and applying it everywhere on the eyelid and I will be dragging it a little bit up towards the crease and then I will be taking a L'Oreal eyeshadow in the shade Eternal Sunshine. It's a very beautiful, soft, champagne, golden <clears throat> shade. And I'm doing the same, applying it on both the eyelids and dragging it up towards the crease. <clears throat> it's very, very beautiful and it goes with a lot of looks. And I'm using my finger and just tapping it on I find that the payoff is better with the finger then I'm taking a wet and wild eyeshadow I think it's creme brulee I will link it um, in the description and just applying it everywhere on the crease and up I'm using this uh, Taobao matte eyeshadow palette uh, you can also get it on eBay and um, I'm taking like the peach color and applying it on the crease and upward. And I'm using uh, just the blending brush that I bought on eBay. They're very good brushes. Then I will be taking like a taupeish type of color. It's kind of a gray taupe color and using um, contour brush, applying it on the crease. And then using a dome shaped brush, I will be using the black and burgundy and applying it on the outer V and just uh, tapping off the excess and uh, doing the same on both eyes starting off with a minimal amount and then you can always build on that so I'm just using the black and uh, the reddish now I'll be using the reddish and black again oh the first time I think it was red and brown I used and just to intensify it, I'm just applying it again on the outer V. And now I'm trying to drag it in a little bit, almost towards the center. And I'm using the contoured crease brush I was using before, uh, the one that had the taupe shade, and just uh, smoothing it out. And I'm using that blending brush with the peach, peach shade and blending out the edges. I'm going in again with the L'Oreal Shadow and Eternal Sunshine, um, just to intensify it, and taking the dome-shaped um, crease uh, brush with no product on it, and just blending it out again. I'm taking this Wet n Wild Jumbo Eye Cream Pencil and applying it on the arches and in the inner corners. Then I'm going to take the light shade from this Lulu DK palette. And again, blending out the edges with a clean brush. And I will be taking this LA Girl um, eyeliner. And I will link the or write the description below. It's a very beautiful, like cobalt blue, royal blue type of color. And just applying it on the outer edges and then dragging it inward. I didn't do a cat eye because I am not good at applying a cat eyes. And I will be taking this W7 Eye Lust Mascara. I really don't like it to be honest. Um, I've used it a few times but I just don't think it delivers good impact. Uh, then I'm applying the Misha Pore Perfecting Primer everywhere. So I'm moving onto the face and focusing it on the nose area, dragging it out and then tapping it in with the fingers. I made sure to wipe my hands, tapping and tapping. It's a pretty good primer. 
And now I'll be using the LA Girl Concealer in Creamy Beige, applying it under the eyes, down the bridge of my nose, on the forehead a little bit, the sides of my nose, or wherever I might have some redness. I put concealer before foundation. And then I'll just blend it away with a sponge, just like a disposable sponge. Now I'm taking the Milani Grandissimo Lashes and applying it. I already did it on the other eye just to add volume and taking this Watson sponge just to blend in the remaining of the um, um, concealer. I work in kind of different phases so I bounce uh, back and forth a lot between eyes and face. Now I will be using Essence and the L'Oreal Foundation. The Essence is in Pure Nude, number 30, Pure Honey. And the L'Oreal is in 204 Natural Buff. And the finishes are different. The L'Oreal is uh, the Pro Glow Dewy. And the Essence, it's more of a natural finish. I really like the Essence one. So I do the Essence first, pat it in, and then I will be taking the L'Oreal and I also do it because I don't have uh, many foundations, so I try to blend out the colors or match the colors, mix them, and apply it everywhere down my neck too. And now I will be using the concealer again from Ally Girl just to spot conceal and a little bit more underneath the eyes. That's why I um, always do concealer first because you can always add it afterwards. I don't like to look cakey and also I have dry skin so I find it works quite well and using the sponge to tap it in drag it down the neck too and now I will be applying highlighter this is in color pops uh, cream highlighter in the color wisp it's a very very beautiful um, almost deep gold and it matches with everything so I applied some before and now I'm just intensifying it um, and you can build it as you want um, but I like to build it slowly by slowly apply it on the high points of my cheek and now we'll be taking a big fluffy brush that has some RCMA translucent powder and applying it underneath my eyes and then I realized I forgot to use my eye cream and I love to use an eye cream before I do my makeup. Now I'll be using um, the Butter Bronzer formula and just, uh, you know, contouring the, um, or bronzing like my cheekbones and my jawline. And I'm using this brush that came in a kit that I purchased um, at Ross, actually. And uh, just tapping it in. I sped it up because, um, yeah, I wanted to move it quicker. And I'm taking this Etude House Berry Delicious um, uh, blush in the shade. Actually, I don't know the shade. It's in Korean. Um, but... It smells so delicious, and I have applied it before with um, a brush, but I didn't really like the payoff. And I find that the sponge it comes work, it comes with actually works very well. And I just build it up on the cheeks, and I blend it outward, and then I take a little bit and just put it or whatever's left. I just put it on the forehead and on the jawline just to make it look more natural, add more natural dimension to the face. And yeah, I really like the blush. Now we'll be using the Tony Moly Double Needs Pink Pink Mascara in Waterproof. And I already applied it on the other eye. And um, yeah, it really separates the lashes nicely. And um, yeah, I like it. Now I'm going to do the bottom of the eyes. So I'm going to just apply eyeshadow. I'm using basically the same shades I used. So applying the black and the red on the outer edges, then taking those two like peach and more soft sand color, applying it in the middle and blending it outwards. And um, then again, just using some of the black, very little, tapping off the excess 
and going on the very, very, very outer edge. And then I'm going to drag it upwards towards the crease just so it's more of a smooth transition and it gives more of a natural like cat eye type of look without using the eyeliner. And I already applied the same uh, blue eyeliner on my waterline. And then I will be using this LA Girl eyeshadow in the shade, I think it's called Champagne. It's very intense. It's very beautiful. And I will be using Amisha uh, Brow Gel. And it is the color setting brow mascara. And it is in the darkest shade they have. I think it's number one, Cocoa Brown. I will leave it in the link. I will leave it in the description box. Now I'm using this Wet n Wild uh, lipstick in the color Don't Blink Pink 966. And I really like the color for the price. It's good. It's not the most hydrating, but it's very cheap and the payoff is great. And I'm using this Anise Free Mist, applying it everywhere. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. See you next time.